Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to the month of February 2024, where you're going to experience some amazing opportunities for travel. If you do anything on the online world, a bit of a boost in that part of your life, as well as heal some kind of wound regarding a relationship to a child or even to your own romantic partner or the idea of romantic love. Let's get going and talk about how this plays out for you during the month ahead. Let's get started. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're one of my regulars, welcome back. My name is Lori Lothian. I'm using the Western Tropical Zodiac whole sign houses. And I love the fixed stars and minor asteroids. If you stick around, I put out about 25 videos per month, if not more. And I always talk about how these little devils in the detail asteroids can really make the difference in understanding the sky. I'm giving you, um, you know, the astrology here to time your best life and use astrology as a navigational tool. So if that interests you, uh, please try me out, subscribe and give me a try. And in my description box below the video, everything about my courses, getting a reading with me, getting on the wait list for that, and or um, you know, 2024 All Signs videos are still for sale until the end of January. Check everything out below. All right, let's get going, Sagittarius. Let's talk about your wild ride in the month of February. Well, first of all, good news is uh, you have a, a stellium happening in your third house this month. It's a, they call it the Pluto party in Aquarius. This flows to your ascendant. It flows to your identity. And it even flows in such a way that it can offer you some positive luck and opportunity as you really have a pile up of planets, five planetary energies in your third house, which is about travel and trips and skills-based learning. You could take a class or teach a class. Uh, the third house can be about your sibling, younger siblings. It can be about your cousins and things you're doing in this sort of fishbowl in which you swim, your local everyday environment. And this is very powered up for you in the month of February. At a very basic level, you could be traveling quite a bit back and forth, going here and there, taking small trips. The other thing you could be doing is you could be having a very focused and very busy time online, if your work is online, if you're social media oriented, or in regards to things you're doing in and around your local neighborhood. So that's a general vibe. Also during the entire month of the month of February, we have a loose uh, sextile between Saturn and um uh, Jupiter that never really perfects, but still lends a good but not great vibe. And the good, not great, but not great vibe that on is ongoing for the first two weeks of February. Indeed, kind of started in the last week of January. That Saturn sextile energy is good energy between things you're doing in your home, from your home, at your home, including property, real estate, and the word rentals, pets, or working in and from the home or work agreements with your work environment that collaborate effectively with things you're doing in your home. So getting to work from home more often, getting projects done from home that apply to your work, maybe getting a new pet or improving uh, the situation with an existing animal or securing a new rental property as a tenant or as a landlord. That kind of vibe is ongoing for the first two weeks of February. Now, one of the things I'm going to do as we go into this month ahead is I'm going to tell you about Mercury, Venus, Mars as they move through different signs. And then we're going to go into the chronology of the month ahead and break it down bit by bit. Let's start off with Mercury. So Mercury is moving uh, into the sign of Aquarius uh, on February the 5th to February 22nd after having been in the sign of Capricorn for three weeks. Now, Capricorn is your second house of earnings, money, speech. Um, you may have been really busy communicating to a lot of people during that time. You might have been busy and still are until February 5th or so, um, you know, negotiating deals, making money, talking about uh, sometimes Mercury here can uh, lend it, lend you to lead you to want to buy or sell things, maybe a new car, a new laptop, something like that. Mercury's leaving your Capricorn second house, however around the 5th of February as he moves into your third house. Now, your third house is Aquarius, and that's where this powerful stellium of Pluto, Venus, Mars, Mercury, and the sun will be piled up, particularly most intense between February 16th and 19th, when the sun is still in this part of the sky with a team of other planets. So you can probably look to a lot of intensity around your social media and your neighborhood and your siblings and your cousins and your local environment and travel opportunities, February 16th to the 19th. With Mercury entering into your third house, however, the idea here is that he loves to write and communicate from the third house and he loves to create ideas. This is going to put you into a lot of intensity February 23rd to March 9th if you have writing projects you're working on or if you in any way are harnessing your online environment for uh, broadcasts, communications, podcasts, website stuff, social media outlets, all of that on fire, very 
very busy time for you. Proactively, if you're a Sag rising, it's a really good time to use that constellation of energy in the third house in February for launching something online. No doubt about it. It would be really auspicious for you. Um, then Mercury will on February 23rd to March the 9th move into your fourth house, which is Pisces. That's home property, land, and real estate. And quite often that looks like an opportunity to negotiate things to do with property. In your case with Jupiter in the sixth house, even rental agreements. So negotiating the terms of a rental agreement, a property purchase, a property sale, listing a property for sale can all be very auspicious for you between February 23rd and March 9th. But the devil, it will always be in those details. So please get someone to look over it with Neptune here and Mercury and hardship for Saturn and Mercury outside of the sign of his dignity, you might really want to make sure that somebody double checks the fine print. You do not want to get into a financial muddle or a legal muddle because you did not notice a subclause. So be careful for contractual agreements regarding property, all right, during that time frame, uh, and get some second eyes on the contracts themselves, some legal eagle eyes, especially February 23rd to March the 9th. Venus will be moving through the sign of Capricorn um, and then into the sign of Aquarius. Capricorn is where she's very refined and she was there January 23rd and ends her stay there February 15th. So the first two weeks of February, including Valentine's Day, Venus is in your second house of earnings and possessions. And very possibly you're going to choose that window of time, if you haven't already since January 23rd, to buy something that you really brings you joy and pleasure, something refined, something that really you do truly do want. When you add that Venus is in the sign of Capricorn until um, the 15th of February, and that you also have Mercury in the sign of Capricorn until the 5th of February, it kind of suggests that perhaps, you know, perhaps your best time to buy something that's really refined that you really, really want is in the first five days of February. And you still have Venus watching over the purchase to make sure it's benefic and good. You want that car, you want that fancy laptop, you want that uh, anything, you know, that you really want to purchase uh, a possession that would give you some satisfaction, especially if it's for your home. That would be something to consider most auspicious, auspicious in the first four or so days of February. Now, as we go forward, we have the energy here of Venus moving out of Capricorn on February 15th, where she was co-present with a rising Mars. We will get to that in a minute. And moving on the 16th of February through to March the 12th into your fourth house of home, property, and real estate. Now, February 16th then to March the 12th could be a really awesome time for you. Quite ideal, actually, for you to maybe uh, decide that what you want to do is beautify your home, hire a designer, repaint the kitchen, um, or have a friend visit you who's a female, or have more joyful fun and pleasure in the home. She's exalted here. And maybe you'd be inviting a lot of people into your home to have fun with you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, back it up. Am I going to start this over? No. Maybe I'll edit it out, but I might forget. Pause the button. Sorry, guys. I apologize, Sagittarius. Sorry, she's moving into the sign of Aquarius. She was in Capricorn. She was moving into your third house, which is going to be in the party. But she will exalt your home decoration. So let's jump you ahead, you know, beautify the home, entertain in the home, all that thing about, you know, having people visit the home, March the 12th. Okay, add three weeks. I apologize for that. Um, it's been a long day of recording. And I'm not going to take time to edit or you won't get this in a timely manner. So look forward then to that kind of home love up way down the pipeline, March 12th, add three weeks. But now February 16th to March the 12th, she's joining the Pluto party. And that's where Pluto's sitting as of the 20th of January. So I kind of like this for you. If you really want to get something powerfully off the ground with a writing project with a travel opportunity, especially shorter distances, with a learning educational opportunity, because Mercury's here as well, and really good for social media launches, for putting something out into the world in website design, in social media land, et cetera, can beautify and fortify your connection to a younger, younger sibling, can bring you a sense of happiness and joy and sociability in your local neighborhood, a great time to spend more time going out to restaurants or movie theaters or whatever you would do in the local environment that brings you pleasure and joy. And with Mercury there, you could be very social, either online or in real life, very social energy for you in your daily life between between February 16th and March the 12th. On January 3rd, we have Mars in Capricorn. Um, 
from January 3rd to February 13th. So the first couple of weeks of, of the month of February, he's still there. On the 27th of January, he rose to the visible sky where we could see him in the morning sky. Please go watch my Mars Rising All Signs video that just came out on January 25th because it will be very helpful to understand how over the two years that follow this January Rising, you're going to change the way you make money and how you, how you make money and what and how much money you make in a very powerful and positive way. And so go watch that video. It's a whole separate delineation. But when Mars leaves on February 13th, your earnings house, where you might be more passionate, driven, or also spending more money than you prefer to spend, right? January 3rd to February 13th, or starting an entrepreneurial business can happen January 3rd to February 13th. As he moves forward on February 13th to March 23rd into your Pluto party, Aquarius stellium of planets. Now we have the whole gang here, right? It's very, very intense energy. And it's really, even though Mars joins the fray February 13th, you can kind of like go intense, intense, intense energy once Venus arrived on the 16th. So we're going to go February 16th to the 19th when you still have the sun there. Wow, wow, wow. Mars can try to get you to take a very important trip. He can get you to be very passionate and fully willpowered up, ambitious and aggressively focusing on your writing projects, your social media environment, uh, connecting with uh, people in your local environment. Now, Mars cuts, ends, and severs, and you may cut away from some childhood friendship, some sibling relationship or cousin type relationships and relationship and maybe decide it's time to end it. That can happen when Mars is here as well. But he certainly loves to travel here. Just be careful. Mars here can cause uh, automobile uh, accidents where you fender bender out. And so be cautious for that between February 13th and March the 23rd. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the breakdown of the month ahead and we'll see what we have going on here. Let's start off with the beginning of the month. The most important first event is on the 7th and the 8th of February. On the 7th and the 8th of February, we have Venus flowing to Uranus. This is a money and love positivity, but it has the element of unexpected or surprise. You can call it a happy surprise. Well, Venus is in Capricorn, your earnings house. Uranus is up and down in Taurus, over in Taurus, your workhouse work and work routines, uh, co-worker space, you know, employees, employer stories, you know, the job, right? And so if you're in that kind of environment, this can be very unexpected, positive financial surprise regarding some kind of work environment. It can also be very good health news uh, coming up for you that surprises you, maybe because you're making dietary changes, changes in the food style and all of that. Or if you were brave enough to do a cosmetic procedure when Venus is moving through Capricorn, then this can be the happy end of that, the, the delightful bandages are off and look how great I am September the 7th and 8th. Then on the 8th and 9th, kind of almost at the same time, Mars is flowing to Neptune. You know, Mars is about change often, and he's in Capricorn. So what do you want to change about the way you earn money at this time? That Neptune agrees is a wonderful idea. It gives a sense of a dreamy uplift, a sort of noble spiritual flow towards some ambition to do with spending or earning money connected to things to do with home and at home. On February 10th, Mercury will square Jupiter. Now, Mercury is not happy to squaring Jupiter. They're going to have like a tussle, a, you know, a difficult, you know, face off about something. Mercury in the square to Jupiter is Mercury in the house of trips and travel and short distance uh, skills based education, you know, local environment, neighbors, neighbors, and squaring off with Jupiter in the house of your work, in the house of your pets. So honestly, it could be a neighbor complaining about your pet on February 10th, give or take a day. It could be some difficulty with travel because your work gets in the way. It could be some kind of situation where um, you're facing a confrontation with a sibling or um, a cousin, and it all involves things you're trying to get off the ground in your work and health stories. You know, basically, I mean, who could be anything? Your neighbor's saying, there's no super toxic sludge pile next door, and you're going, yes, there is, and it's affecting my health. So communications that are dealing also with legal matters, justice, and truth have a difficult tension for you uh, on February the 10th. On February the 13th, Venus will sextile Neptune. Now, Neptune receiving love from Venus is going to feel like a dreamy soulmate vibe. And so if you're single, this could lend itself to a really lovely energy as Venus and Capricorn flows to, you know, Neptune in your fourth house. And you may have a, a dreamy date close to home. Um, you almost could see this as well as a financial opportunity connected to some kind of dream or vision you have that you wish to make into a reality regarding home, land, property, and real estate. 
And your speech is eloquent when being refined and eloquent when Venus is in Capricorn on February 13th. And if you have to speak something into the world, like to do with your uh, mother or father, because uh, this is a house of your parents or the childhood home, uh, you could do that with great eloquence and very much create some kind of harmony if harmony is needed. February 13th to the 15th, Mars will conjunct Pluto. Now, Mars conjunct Pluto is intense willpower, drive, ambition, uh, commander-in-chief, super-powered energy. And it's, to say the least, intense. And February 20th to 23rd, this Mars-Pluto conjunction can be felt more acutely by... February 13th to the 15th, more acutely by you. So... It could be a really intense blowout or power struggle with a sibling or a neighbor, or it could be some situation to do with trips and travel or learning. Now, it may not be bad. We have Venus here watching over the whole affair, kind of smoothing it all out. Mercury's here in a minor exaltation. It's such an intense energy, though, that look for the idea of what could be kind of explosively dominating your attention in third house matters. Certainly, I'd say conflict can emerge here with a sibling or a neighbor, especially younger siblings or extended family member. So watch for that potential and that window of time. And how would you deal with it most effectively? Uh, well, other than de-escalate, uh, Venus, the goddess of peace is there. Find your, use your words, speak and communicate by email, phone call or text, third house matters, peacefully as you can. Uh, Non-violent communication would be ideal. On February 20th to the 23rd, Venus and Mars co-join. Now, this is an important element of their synodic cycle. I'll be doing a whole video on this separately, but it can mean that you're going to come into a time of sizzling hot romantic cosmic lovers uh, energy, and you might even indeed find yourself on a date. Third house can be on a date in the local neighborhood, but in the online world as well. So there's your dating apps. Now, if you do meet somebody under this energy of a Mars conjunction to Venus, that's going to bake in a lot of sexual chemistry for you and a lot of sexual intensity, especially given we have Pluto co -present. But it's not bad because it does sextile your Sagittarius ascendant, and therefore you may indeed enjoy that kind of a relationship. Now, <laughs> I wonder too, because Mars does rule your house of romance, and so your fifth house of romantic love is being healed by the Chironic wound on February 19th, Go Chiron co-joining with the North Node at, nine, at 16 degrees of Aries on, on, you know, the time frame that this is also the sexy hot lovers just shortly after. So you may be coming to some kind of healing about your lovability, your romantic life, your sexual life, um, and you're looking at a potential of a very sizzling and intense love affair, all smashing up between the 13th and the 23rd of February if you're single. If you're with somebody, this can be a romantic getaway with your number one squeeze and it's deep sexual healing trying to emerge, or romantic healing or true love healing from that chironic wound. I'm not going to guarantee that the 19th isn't intense because the chironic wound with North Node can inflame the wound, right? It can make it more intense, but then it can heal it as well. So, you know, feel it to heal it may be a good motto for you at this time. If you have any conflict also or woundedness around your children, or you have had a falling out with an adult child, for example, or a child of yours, this can be also a time of healing that childhood that child relationship around February 19th, give a week on either side. That may be very separate from the sizzling hot romance story. On February 26th to February 28th, Mars will square Jupiter. Now remember, we already had Mercury scalp square Jupiter February 10th that may be connected. So Mercury means that harsh communication with a neighbor or younger sibling or something like that February 10th ish and some difficulty maybe a conflict for work and trip agendas or pet and uh, travel agendas some kind of conflict then we get to February 26th to the 28th and now Mars is following up with a sword whoo and even though Venus wants to keep the peace by being co-president in Aquarius with Mars there's a like a real like explosive energy here when Mars squares Jupiter right it's not in you know, Mars is like mm, we're going to push forward and Jupiter is the wise one or the true one, Jupiter in Taurus. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's very possible what we're looking at here is a real conflict between like two, two agendas. You want to experience a uh, 
you have something good happening in your workspace, but it's going to uh, contradict a travel opportunity. You have a conflict with a sibling that uh, runs against the grain of something to do with a pet, or you have a conflict with a neighbor, and now there's aggression. There's a movement to, to make a change here. It's really tough to say what it exactly is. I'd be really careful too, because Jupiter is in the house of sickness and Mars is in the house of uh, of vehicles. And you, you don't end up with a stupid car injury accident, you know, even if it's just the body of your car. Uh, so be careful around driving between February 26th and 28th. Be very extra cautious already. Please be careful. And then lastly, we have February the 28th. We have Mercury. He is conjunct the sun and he's conjunct Saturn, a triple conjunction called a Kazemi between those three planets it's very rare to have them also tightly together this is going to happen at nine degrees of pisces on the 28th of the month and this is an area of the sky that has to do with your home land property real estate and there's a sextile to jupiter which means it brings opportunity it is a new beginning a reset button that can last up to six Weeks afterward, when you see the lay of the land, are you resetting a rental agreement, a pet situation? Are you resetting a health matter in and from your home? Is uh, some hardship in your home coming to a close? Saturn, when you feel isolated, lonely, or alone in the home ever since last March, and now you're going to reset that isolation Saturn button, and you're going to bring it into contact with better uh, work routines, better health routines, uh, better animal situations for pets, things to do maybe also with relieving yourself of a financial burden or debt connected to property and real estate that can open up for you February 28th. So maybe an opportunity to uh, get a dream purchase price on your home, to sell a home, to pay off a mortgage or to refinance a property or even to secure a better rental property coming up February 28th at six weeks. I hope that was helpful for you guys as Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Don't miss a thing. I put out a lot of content every month. My Patreon community is getting this on January 25th. You're getting it a few days later. If you like early asks, access ad-free content and you you want to sign up my lowest tier is only five bucks you get a lot of other perks uh, as well go check it out the patreon community link is also under the more tab in my description box thanks guys ciao ciao